Hey guys, it's Allison from Daily Moves and Grooves and I am legit coming to you from a tire swing. I'm just at this park that I found um, here in New York because I'm on spring break and today is Tuesday, March 8th, 2016 and there are lots of cool things happening including International Women's Day, National Pancake Day, National Frozen Foods Day according to one company and it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see I'm not wearing a jacket, I'm sleeveless and it's like almost 70 degrees. It's like 65 degrees right now and I'm so excited because it's like spring is here and I'm just by myself because um, I'm waiting between a couple of appointments um, so I just decided to hang out at this park. And for today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to talk a little bit about a really random subject that is just on my mind. I don't know where it came from, but it's where I would want to live when I'm older. So background, I was born in LA, in case you didn't know. I lived there for the first five years of my life, so I don't remember it that much. But lived there for the first five years. Southern California is where I started my life. And then we moved to Kansas for three years. Uh, so that was like early elementary school, very random, different Midwest, but it was for my dad's job. And yeah, it was fine. It was a nice place. Our house was huge because everything in the Midwest is big and cheap, <laughs> which is nice. And then we contrasted that with our New York home where I've lived for the past 11 years and I so I definitely identify with New York the most because I've lived here the longest I have the most memories here and I really love the Northeast so um, you know staying in the Northeast was pretty much a given for me going to college and of course I've been living in Boston for the past two years during school and I absolutely love it there too so if I after I graduate, if I wanted to settle down somewhere, I'd probably stay in the Northeast or on the East Coast at least. Um, probably Boston, the Boston area. New York is also nice, but New York is very expensive. Um, or like somewhere farther north. I'm not sure if I would want a place closer to the city or if I would want a place that was kind of rural but kind of cute where I could see stars <laughs> because I love stars and I would also consider when I'm older the Northwest because I think it's also very beautiful up there and the weather is awesome I love Sacramento and Northern California San Francisco it's probably my favorite city in the United States um, it's absolutely beautiful it's also hella expensive as my San Franciscan friend would say himself hella hella is that what they say? I don't know. San Francisco friends, what do you guys actually say? Um, or like Washington, like in Seattle, or even like, I don't know, I after visiting Colorado last year, I would consider Colorado, but it's also a very different culture and it actually might be like too healthy granola-y for me. That's just personally, uh, obviously I, I like to have healthy people around me and healthy influences, but um, I don't know. Colorado's like a little too much for me. It's beautiful though. I love it. And I definitely want to live near a place where I could go into nature and hike. And I probably wouldn't want to live too far south because I can't do hot weather for too long. So yeah. And then internationally, I don't really, I don't even, I wouldn't even think of living internationally, but you never know. I never know where God will take you. So the video just cut off because I ran out of space on my phone so I had to delete some things but it's getting close to the end of my video anyway. Um, the rest of this day has involved me going to a physical therapy clinic to talk to them about a possible summer job, hopefully as a physical therapy aide. Um, I definitely do want to stay in New York for the summer and work here. And after this I am going to meet up with one of my old dance friends friends who are doing a high school project uh, they're making a food blog and apparently they need a mentor um, to just sign off on some things and give them advice so hopefully I'll be a good mentor to them but I hope you guys have a great weekend uh, by the time you're watching this I'll be in Boston again all right love you guys bye